Hey, welcome to the very first episode of The Ice Project. I'm going to get into the name a little bit later, but for now, roll the intro. It's a rolling, not a stop. Why shit don't never stop? Hey, welcome to the very first episode of The Ice Project. My name's Isaac. My friends call me Ice, hence the play on words, The Ice Project. I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, I feel like every story needs a background, an introduction, and here's sort of mine. Um, my name's Isaac John. I'm currently 30 years old. I run a brand called YKTR. Um, which is a clothing brand. I started with two of my friends, Chico and Normie, um, come from a football background, but I, st- I started in a small town called Tukuru in New Zealand. It's a town of roughly about 10,000 people at the moment. Um, considered a rough town. It's quite cold. It's um, When I was in high school, we had the highest use suicide rate in the country per capita, and everyone sort of transitions in sort of a normal period where the main sort of economy is uh, you, you either work out in the mill or you work out in the bush, bush trying to cut down trees and then that goes into the mill and you obviously work from there and I always knew from a young age that wasn't what I wanted to do I see my dad work very hard and I was grateful for the parents that I had and the upbringing that I had but I also always knew that I that was something I didn't want to do um and I saw rugby league as my way out and your brain can only process what your eyes can see so you can only see what your parents have done so you think that's your natural progression for you but then you're going to school and teachers going oh if you don't want to live this life you have to go to uni but I always saw rugby league as my way out it was a passion instilled to me through my dad. Um, always, always loved football, so naturally I just picked it up as well. Loved playing it, loved being there with my friends, and was lucky enough to debut in the NRL. Obviously, after a lot of hard training and stuff like that, and I'll sort of talk about more of that journey in future in future podcast episodes. But that's sort of the base of it. I played for the Warriors when I was twenty years old. Got shifted off from there, moved to England, come back, played for the Penrith for five years, and. Ended up one last year at Manly, and my sort of natural prog- my progression through my career was um, reserve grade, play first grade, get injured, lengthy return, and work my way back. And it was sort of a cycle of that. And I sort of got to the age of twenty seven, tore my ACL before, tore my, snapped my Achilles, uh, broke my foot, something wrong with my hip as well. I was just that was just sort of how my career sort of played out. And I got to twenty seven, I snapped my back, and I was like, I don't really want to do this anymore. But while I was injured, I was always really big into reading books and natural progression into reading books start reading about business and you start reading about entrepreneurs and that always um excited me and when i got to 27 i decided to transition stop playing football um did play it part-time for a year and really focused on business and trying to become an entrepreneur and trying to be my own boss and sort of here i am now i tried a few different businesses and i failed but the one that sort of succeeded for us was yktr which is the clothing company which is the office that i sit in right now and i started with two of my friends um which is something that we started for fun at the time it was fun for them at the time, but in my mind, I always sort of wanted it to succeed, and I'm sure they do it, did as well, but it was sort of varying levels of, like, commitment at the start, so, um, but here we are, we're, we're a legitimate business now, we sell clothes, we've grown substantially over the past, sort of 12 to 18 months, I think we're growing 1200% last year, um, which is super exciting, so that's sort of my background story, and that's how I sit here today, we started documenting our journey uh, through vlogs, we've made 104 vlogs now that you can see from start to finish. Right at the start, we're shipping in from our house. Um, I, we just had, used to have a box of clothes, and I used to ship them out from there. So that's essentially how we started. The name, the Ice Project, was sort of the first name I thought of. I always wanted to have it a play on words. My nickname's Ice. I've always sort of had it since I was like 16, 17, moving into football. And the reason why I've called it the Ice Project is because it's essentially a project on myself. And it sort of makes me nervous because when I first started to, like when I go, oh, we wanted to start a clothing company, no one sort of in our space had done that before. And it made me nervous and it made me want to do it. And same as vlogging, people were bagging us too. They go, no one's going to watch your vlogs, no one's going to buy your clothes. And it made me nervous, so I wanted to do it. And the same thing is about this podcast, it makes me nervous, so I want to give it a crack, you know what I mean? And if the past is anything to go by, those things that I've learned from in the past is if you have that gut feeling, you sort of got to go for it. But the name, The Ice Project, one, it's a project on myself. There's a meme or a picture on Instagram or Facebook or whatever you look at, and it shows an iceberg, and it shows like 20% of it um, is showing outside the water and 80% of it is submerged. And when I moved into business, I thought what I thought worked in sales and marketing and product distribution and every tax laws and everything – was in that 20% at the top and once I've got into it and I've realised there's something so much different, you know what I mean? And I sort of want to break down those walls for people that want to transition from blue-collar background like myself or transition from football and sort of move into it. So the tip 
like TIP, the ice project, the tip of the iceberg, and I sort of had a play on words before that, and I didn't really think too much about the name, but that was just the first thing that came to my mind, it was a play on words, and that was the sort of the analogy I could give to it, so it would be called the tip podcast for short. Um, the reason why I'm starting the podcast, I've sort of explained before, it makes me nervous, like going off past experiences, once I get that gut feeling, I've got to pursue it, got to try it, if I fail, I don't really give a fuck. It's something I really want to do, and I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed as I've grown as an entrepreneur and into business. I'm only about two and a half years in, and I realize I don't know everything. And I've really enjoyed transitioning from football chat, where we used to talk about the same shit all the time, and sitting down and having conversations with people that are business orientated or life orientated or self development or like mental health, and just having generally having different conversations and. I really enjoyed having these conversations and when I was sitting in coffees with these types of people, I was going like, if only, I could, if only other people could hear this. And this is essentially what it is. There's a few selfish reasons for this. One, the main selfish reason is I want to meet people that are smarter than me and I want to sit across the table from them and have a conversation with them. And I've sort of found like people hit me up all the time going, can I come um, spend two hours with you? Like I'll buy you a cup of coffee. And I've tried to do that to other people as well that I've wanted to sit down and have a chat with as well. And, like in, in my mind, like if I'm not going to go always go have a, s- a sit down with someone else, why is someone going to ha- have a sit down with me? You know what I mean? Like $3.50 doesn't transfer into two hours of someone's time, valuable time. Do you know what I mean? I pay for consulting and stuff now. I'm, I pay for online courses. I'm going to a few courses this year, one in America, one in Melbourne in a couple of weeks. And I've found that like paying for these sort of mentors has really helped our business grow. But I found with a podcast, when people invite, invited me onto a podcast, I was more inclined to jump on that podcast podcast because um, it's just easy content, you know what I mean? It's something that you can distribute over a long period of time. It's on demand, and I was more inclined to could do a podcast than I was to spend two hours out of my day sitting down and have a coffee when p- people were asking generally the same questions. So I understood that, and I was going, maybe I can get these people that are smarter than me, sit them down in front of this, put it on camera, and distribute it out to you guys. The other reason is, growing up in a blue collar in a town like Tokoro, and being an Islander, or whatever nationality you are, I didn't have the person I could go to and go, hey, how do you run a business, or what's what's the difference between a sole trader and a partnership, or what's the tax, law, what's the tax laws on these? Because we come from a blue collar environment, we naturally think that... Um, that if you own a business, you're rich, you know what I mean? And I thought that too as well, where I knew a kid that owned the, his parents owned the business and they had like a two-story house. So I was like, oh, fuck, he must be killing it. And it's generally not the case in business because a lot of the time your money goes back into it. So I really want to break down the walls from people who want to be their own bosses. I read a stat the other week that one or two people want to be their own boss or want to be an entrepreneur. And I don't, generally don't think that's for everyone, you know what I mean? And I generally mean that, that um, everyone wants to be a boss until it comes to making like tough decisions and... There's times of now, like a YKTL, my entrepreneur career, where I thought we were going to fail, and I just really want to get these parts out there, because people see the vlogs, people see like Drake over slow motion music and shit like that, and it it's kind of gives off an illusion that it's a lot easier than what it actually is, and I've, we've had like 30 to 35 people start clothing brands, and message us and say, oh, you're the reason why we started this, and a lot, not too many of them get through, I want to help people get through and this is going to be the breakdown for it because a lot of people don't have access to mentors. A lot of people don't really like reading, and I understand that, but I actually do. So all I want to do is sit down, interview people, and distribute it, distribute it out to you guys. And that's basic, basically the reason why I want to start this podcast. So I'll be interviewing a few friends first that have got cool backstories, um, social media experts, men- people in the mental health space, um, I just don't want to pigeonhole it into strictly business, even though that's something I really, I'm really into at the moment, um, because I feel like some of the people with the best lessons don't own businesses, and some of the best people we can learn from. So it's going to be a little bit of a free reign on types of people I, I want to interview. Um, yeah, I just like I feel like I feel like there's no one sort of doing that right now at the moment, or no one that's sort of relatable. Like there's a lot of great. American podcast but we can't really relate to that and I've taken online courses and some of them start off like join a house in the Hollywood Hills and I've only been to LA like two three times I know some people haven't even left the country so I want to break down those walls of access to mentors of access to education of understanding that you don't have to go to university to start a business on I want to break down the walls of mental health I want to break down the walls of basically everything that people don't have access to the people that 
the reasons I've been so lucky in the last couple of years, I've had access to these people and I just want to pass this information on down to you guys in a relatable way and circumstances that you guys can understand and relate and relate to. Whether you're a kid from New Zealand or a kid from Australia or Islander background, it doesn't matter. And I just want to be the example of um like you don't you don't have to be born a certain way into a certain family or have certain education to do what you want and hopefully I can be that guy and I generally think I can. So um that's the breakdown of this podcast. That's the intro. It's a little bit rough. I'm still learning that. But I thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Um, and look forward to it. Look forward to continuous journey with you guys. Um, hopefully you guys listen. And I'm pretty excited. But thanks for watching. Let's go.